Now joined by head coach Russ Turner again the final here at the Bren. UC Irvine a 101-43 victory over Life Pacific. Coach, when we talked to you in the pregame interview, you said, you know, when we're home, we want to bring the energy defensively in rebound. You sure did that tonight. You held Life Pacific under 30% shooting. And you out-rebounded the Warriors 54-15. to So we start with that. Yeah, I feel like that's what we should have done in this game tonight. Um, credit to the guys for being ready to play and for buying in to what we want from them over the course of 40 minutes. I didn't think we started the game very well. I thought our defensive intent wasn't very good early. Some of that I joked at halftime had to do with us, you know, adapting to Luke being back with us. Yeah. Um, it's a great thing to be able to have him on the court again. Uh, we looked a little tentative early in the game defensively, but then uh, we turned it on. And as I went to the bench, we got strong, and I feel good about that. I feel like the guys on our bench can – really impact the game in a positive way, and we've got a lot of them. It wasn't easy to get everybody minutes, but I'm pleased that everybody got meaningful minutes tonight and everybody made a positive contribution. Yeah, but talk about Luke Nelson because that was a sight for sore eyes. To get him back now as you look towards league play, he had 16 points tonight. He, he was off a little early but then really got hot, and we've seen that time and time again from him. But you know, just talk about the significance of having him back as now you get ready for the Big West. Well, I mean, there's no way to overstate the significance of having him back. Um, he is a presence for us on the floor, both on offense and defense. You know, the thing that stands out is what a three-point shooting threat he is. Mm -hmm. That's something that this team needs. Uh, but he gives us confidence in a lot of ways. You know, the, the passes he makes to our big guys yeah. to set them up, I think that's a, a huge thing that is different when, him, when he's on the floor. Um, his ability to direct other guys, um, both on offense and on defense, and utilize his experience is something that, you know, college basketball, when you have seniors and all-conference type players, yeah. you know, and you don't have them, it's different. Uh, when you do have them, uh, it's better. And uh, we had him a night, you know, he was nervous. He was nervous for how yeah. he would play. I was pleased for him after the first four minutes. I thought that he really settled in and played. Now, this wasn't as high a level a game as we're going to play in our next outing. Uh, but I think he'll be ready. You know, we've seen him practice more consistently with our team recently. Um, he's been practicing with us for a little while. You know, yeah. I think we could have played him before, but I'm glad that we waited because he looks like he's confident now. Yeah. And, you know, that gives all, that gives everybody confidence, and there's no way to overstate what that means for this group. Yeah, and I think you touched on it. I think, you know, we focus on the three-point shooting and scoring at times, but his court vision, his passing is something that will really be great to see back in the lineup for you. And his poise. I mean, that, yeah. you know, <laughs> when we've struggled this year, it's because we've looked like we're either going too fast or we can't quite figure something out. Yeah. He never has that issue. Um, and I think that him being out there and the young guys being able to learn from the presence that he carries himself with will be really important for this group. Well, a senior captain, great to have him back. And, you know, now you can throw the cliches, the second season, the reset button. It all changes now as you have two very good opponents in this conference coming in to start the season. And I know those are big games because of those opponents, but also because they're here at home. Yeah, it's important for us to, you know, to, to defend the brand. Um, but, the next, yeah, I, mean, I told the guys after the game, next game's championship game. Yeah. You know, we, uh, we're we defending Big West champions. Uh, the, key, the team that we're playing next is a team that was picked to unseat us. Right. And uh, we're going to get after them, and they're going to get after us. And uh, I'm looking forward to the opportunity to compete in that game. You know, that's the one we're going to be focused on. And then uh, whatever comes after that will be the most important game after that. Right. But uh, the one we got coming is a big one. I'm excited for us to continue to get better with the way that we're practicing, um, continue to figure out more effectively the combinations we can use on the floor for different things that we want to do. And, uh, you know, we ought to keep getting better. That's what I feel like we ought to do. We ought to keep getting better. We uh, have done that over the last week, and now we've got to maintain that going into – the next portion of our season, which yep. is our, our conference schedule. And that will get going next Wednesday against Long Beach State, the black and blue rivalry. Coach, congrats on the win, and we'll talk to you next Wednesday. Okay, thanks, Michael.